So when you heard about Whitey Bulger being found in Santa Monica, was that the catalyst for you wanting to do the film, or had you been following his whole story for years? Well, interestingly, um, well, maybe it's just interesting to me, but interestingly, um, you know, I have long been fascinated by the Bulger saga. It is an irresistible narrative. Uh, ruling over the Boston criminal empire for 25 years, not even so much as being stopped for a traffic ticket, the FBI not bringing him to justice, pressure from the Massachusetts State Police, ultimately, belatedly forcing an investigation that led to an indictment that in turn led to the FBI tipping him off and him going on the lam. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible narrative, and frankly, I never thought he was going to be brought in to justice. I, I, like many, thought he was hiding in plain sight and never to be brought in. Um, and I was also fascinated always as a media maker um, at the cottage industry of the Bulger franchise as a story. I mean, I've never seen a criminal so pass into the modern kind of myth-making cultural machine um, to the point where some people think he's a hero. Um, and dozens of books have been written about him and Johnny Depp is shooting a movie and Jack Nicholson played Bulger or uh, some form of a Bulger loosely based on him in The Departed. And so I've been long fascinated by all of these elements but never thought I had anything to add precisely because there is a glut of media about the guy. Each each piece with its own spin as to who Whitey Bulger is. Um, so when he was actually arrested, as a follower of the story, I was surprised. Uh, my ears then started to prick up, you know, I started to pay attention. But when, when it was finally announced that he was being um, actually going to be brought back to Massachusetts and a date was announced and he was standing trial, um, then I thought, along with CNN, that this could be a really compelling film that finally I would have something to add to the story um, because I could use the, tr the trial, the present tense springboard of the trial to kind of separate the man from the myth and to really explore who this person is versus these you know, mythologies that have been created. You know, and nonfiction books, I shouldn't say everything is a mythology. You know, there are pe there's some legitimate reporting that has gone on, but you know, each, each book kind of has its own spin and so I wanted to use the trial to try to understand for myself uh, who, who Whitey Bulger is and more importantly what allowed him to be possible. And lastly you approached CNN Films or who, who invested in the film? What was the... Well CNN Films and I were in conversation uh, about doing a film and this subject came up and we both kind of just grabbed for the opportunity so uh, CNN Films was hugely supportive and it was a good opportunity.